Hi guys, hello everyone! My name is Inga Yoon, I'm an artist, freelance illustrator and during my short tutorials I teach how to use Procreate in a fast and simple way Mostly I paint in watercolor, so I share with you my knowledge that I have about this app and I'm trying to do it in a fast and simple way. I hope you will like my art and if so, please subscribe, thumbs up and let's start our painting journey. During our today's short tutorial, we're gonna paint this lovely bee uh, around the nature and I'll show you my new watercolor brush set that I created recently which is called Loose Watercolor, but once again, you don't need to have my brush set, you can use your own brushes or native Procreate brushes, that's totally fine. I'll just show you the way how I create watercolor illustration in a loose way. So I hope you will like that. And guys, if you like my short tutorials, if you want to see more, I would be very happy if you could like my video or subscribe to my channel, of course, if you like that. And let's grab our Apple Pencil, iPad, and let's start painting. So about this brush, if you press harder, you will have more liquid. And yellow color. Grab blending tool. As a blender, I am using Woo Watery Brush and Blender. But I don't want to blend it like entirely, just like a tiny bit. Also guys, in this watercolor brush set we have very advanced texture, but thanks to the texture you might get stains and you might have more texture in your illustration. And as you see, I might just paint the whole illustration with just one brush. But of course, you're gonna use more brushes. But you see, if you press harder, you'll have more pigment. And I like the way how the color bleeds, how it spreads. We start like with the, in a watery way. After that, we press harder. And as you might see now, we have darker pigment. I need to paint wings. I'll create one more layer on the top and this brush is kind of edgy, I like it. Okay, same for leaves, I like this olive color, create one more layer on the top. which is called Bu Chinese Ink Brush. It has very sharp edge line. And I think it would be perfect. This brush is pressure sensitive, but if you press harder, you will have thicker brush stroke. If you press lighter, it will be thin. Okay, now I will create one more layer underneath of everything because I'm gonna add some kind of like texture and also background color. And for that, I'm gonna use blue glazing brush. Okay, perfect. Now go and grab blue wet and white brush, same color. I'll be careful. Now gradually we need to move to greenish color and once again press harder, have more watercolor texture. I will grab this pretty bright blue color, same brush. And 
And you see, thanks to the paper, we already have watercolor texture. I'll add a little bit of pinkish texture to this part. Yeah. You see, I have some gaps and I want to just blend it a little bit in order to keep more realistic texture. Also duplicate it. You see, it's so bright. I will lower the opacity to 45% and merge it together. Duplicate it again because I'm gonna uh, remove the transparency. Hue saturation and brightness 100% merge together. Do same with uh, I'm gonna merge together the flowers and leaves this part. And I will create one more layer above. Move it to clip in mask mode and move to multiply. Now I'm gonna add, grab my brush, blue bloom brush, which is pretty cool if you want, if you like textures, if you want to add, add some textures. You see, it's perfect for that. Like that. Go grab blending tool and just blend the parts that I don't like. After that, I'll create one more layer above the uh, background color. Move to multiply. And I'm gonna keep some, add some blooms to our lovely bee. Orange color. Create one more layer above. Multiply. No need to clip it. You see it's already so bright and you see the color might bleed one in another if you like you can move to pink color blend the darkest part and I'll create one layer above multiply same Like that. Because I'll create one more layer above. Um, multiply. And now let's think what kind of stem brushes we want to add. We have plenty of them. What about this one? We might play around and think where we might where it's better to put the stem. Maybe we can merge it like this. Yeah, keep it that way. Uh, merge together, create one more layer, multiply. Now, if you want, you can go and grab uh, olive color. Yeah, uh, let's do same with the sky. Or maybe we have some splatters like this, and add some of them here switch to another stem brush like that and I truly like the way how that looks now I'm gonna merge together all the layers like one in the same time like this one next I will go to uniform and I'll grab two layers sketch and our illustration and I'm gonna lower it like the size and place it to the center because now I want to add the stem brushes that I have so I will go and grab nearly black color maybe dark dark blue and on the top of everything I create a layer and in my set we also have some postage and handwriting stem brushes and I think it would be nice to add um, those stems so I will be easy in the center of attention and then I'll create one more layer. Probably I want to have some handwriting. Maybe that one. Yep. And lovely. This, this is the end for our illustration. I hope you enjoyed our today's short tutorial. And now you know better how to paint illustration, lose watercolor illustration in Procreate.